for months, we have done our best here at the Laura Flanders Show to keep it a Trump-free zone. As far as humanly possible, we have not commented on Donald Trump's rise, his fall, his peaks, or his lows. But maybe, just maybe, there is something positive that could come of this Trump fiasco, and that's the creeping realization that media critics were right all along. Concentrated media power is real power, and we should worry about it. As James Madison once said, a popular government without popular information or the means of acquiring it is but a prologue to farce or tragedy, perhaps both. Or to put it another way, years in office climbing the political ladder are no match for hosting 14 seasons on The Apprentice. Trump's success with real voters has put the GOP's gatekeepers in a snit. Media bias, they cried way, 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 way too late in the game. But Trump is far from the only dangerous bully puffing himself up on the public's airwaves. His 11 years on NBC isn't close to Bill O'Reilly's 20 years on Fox. Just like Trump, O'Reilly's never seen a civil rights violation he couldn't blame on a civil rights victim or a goat he couldn't scape. But who cares? Only ratings matter in this game. O'Reilly's bosses didn't even blink when he who spends much of his time ranting about derelict parenting by black parents lost custody of his kids after his daughter told a court she'd witnessed him drag her mother down a staircase by the neck. Only ratings matter. These are the public's airwaves and these are the people in whose hands we leave them. It's not a bias problem, it's a power problem. And it's exactly what happens when we let markets, not sense, rule. To tell me what you think, write to me, laura at lauraflanders.com.